Mr. President, the confirmation process should not be treated as just another forum to litigate the wisdom and lawfulness of the new administration's policies. Not only does such an approach distract from the proper focus on the nominee's qualifications in judicial philosophy, but it also threatens to undermine the very independence Democrats uh, claim to want in a Supreme Court justice. As I've explained in detail as recently as last week, nominees of both parties for decades have refused to speculate on cases that may come before them in order not to prejudice their potential future judgments. Moreover, as a sitting federal judge, Judge Gorsuch is bound by the Code of Conduct for United States Judges, one of the canons of which prohibits a judge from making, quote, public comment on the merits of a matter pending or impending in any court, unquote. In light of this longstanding, necessary, and in Judge Gorsuch's case, legally mandated practice, I have found it extraordinarily disappointed to hear, disappointing to hear some of my colleagues try to turn on its head Judge Gorsuch's admirable efforts to protect his independence. For example, the minority leader has repeatedly castigated Judge Gorsuch for refusing to take a definitive stand on the legality of the new administration's policies accusing him of, quote, avoiding answers like the plague, unquote. Mr. President, for those of us of all political uh, stripes that want a Supreme Court justice that decides cases on the basis of what the law commands rather than whether the result serves a particular political or policy ad agenda, be it Republican or Democrat, conservative or liberal, pro-Trump or anti-Trump, Judge Gorsuch's refusal to prejudice his approach to future cases should be celebrated, not condemned. As Justice Sotomayor said recently, quote, any self-respecting judge who comes in with an agenda that would permit that judge to tell you how they will vote is the kind of person you don't want as a judge, unquote. Put more colorfully, there is a plague threatening judicial independence here. This plague takes the form of the minority leader's attempt to extract these sort of inappropriate answers, and Judge Gorsuch is wise to avoid, avoid that. Mr. President, the minority leader should know better. Moreover, we know the minority leader does know better, given his many years of service on the Judiciary Committee, and in particular, how he acquiesced to the same approach when now Justices Sotomayor and Kagan were presented with similarly timely hypotheticals. 